Hi, I'm Father Paul Silen. Welcome to our Daily Bread. Today I'm on Main Street in downtown Buffalo, New York, and we're visiting a place called the Little Portion Friary. It was opened in the early 1980s by a group of Franciscans. It's been continuing since then with many volunteers who paint, who clean, who fix up, do all kinds of things. But today I'm going to be working with Marsha, a volunteer who does cooking in a real small kitchen with whatever food comes her way. So don't go away because we're going into the little portion friary because it's time now for our daily bread. Hey, Marcia, thanks for letting us in the kitchen here today. Oh, we're well, very at, welcome uh, to have you. Little portion friary here. And we're going to we're going to make we're going to cook for how many people today about uh, almost 20 people. Yes, today. almost 20. But there's more than that who live here, huh? Yes, we can accommodate between, uh, let's see, 19 men and eight women. I see. OK, total. Now, are you the main cook or the only cook or how? Does no, this no, work? there are a number. There's a different cook for every day. And are you a volunteer or do you? Oh, do you yes, we all up? everyone here oh. is a volunteer. Oh, wow. That's everyone, really desk yeah. people cleaners, everyone is volunteer. How long have you been uh, helping out here? I've only been here about four months. Now look at Marcia, where, 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 what are we making today? We are making people, turkey meatloaf. Okay, turkey meatloaf. Huh? Turkey can meatloaf. You make that, can you make that taste good? Um, you can. I, I'm slicing up these peppers with you. What, uh, how, how big do you want them? How small do you want them? What's, what's the story? Um, it's pretty much minced. How's that? Small? Minced? Oh, wow. So real small. I'm not good at real small, but I'll do my best. That's okay. that's pretty good, actually. So uh, now the, you get uh, some of the food is, is donated or all of the food? Everything is donated. Everything? Wow. Everything. Bedding, mm -hmm. clothing, dishwashing supplies, everything is donated. Now you want me to put them in here? Yes, we'll put okay. all the vegetables now, in there. Now, just so people know, I wash my hands, okay? I did, too. And you had rinse, rinse the uh, the peppers. So this is all kind of by, nice thing about it, it's kind of by feel, huh? It's yes. by uh, yes. whatever we went to. There's some, it, it keeps beeping. Is that part of the uh, office? The office is just beyond the kitchen, right? Huh? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. That's the entrance and exit door. Uh-huh. Oh, every time someone comes yes. or goes. Yes. Oh, okay. Where are they coming and going from? Do you, do you get to know any of the, the, the residents here, yes. the friends here? Yes, the, uh, What do you call them, guests? Guests. guests. We the always guests refer here? to them guests. as guests. Okay. So they're, uh, the guests leave in the morning by 9 o'clock. Uh-huh. And they return, they, they're allowed to return at 4. They're allowed to return at 4. Now, you why have do to they be have out to... during the day because there are a lot of chores that have to be done in the rooms, in the hallways, the floors have to be washed, such, that type of thing. Oh, okay. So the volunteers are doing all of that work. So these guests have to be out during the day. Are we going to cook these vegetables or are we going to put them in raw? Or we're, we no, we're going to cook them. Great. A okay. little oil in the pan with some garlic. Now, let me ask you real quick, as we're getting into this recipe while I'm putting the turkey in here. Yes. Now, who can donate food? Do you have to take well, it from it special has to sources? Well, from a restaurant. Oh. Okay. Or uh, Wegmans does a lot of donating of bread products. Uh-huh. Um, and other restaurants will send us pureed butternut squash. Oh, and one okay. of us um, figured out how to make, add pumpkin, crushed pumpkin, and or pureed pumpkin, excuse me, uh -huh. and a whole bunch of spices, and it was a beautiful soup. Great. The guests really enjoyed it. That so to I me is just the challenge. Drop off any food here? Or no. How about like vegetables? I see you got veg. Well, we got vegetables, fresh vegetables. What if I brought That's in a right. bushel of fresh vegetables? Well, sometimes those will come from Wegmans and okay. other restaurants. Now I'm gonna. I usually, I know uh, the producer likes me to wash my hands constantly, which my hands are clean. But the people at home like when I really get my hands in there. But today I'm going to wear gloves. I hate the gloves. Yeah, I ripped that one already. Okay, now what? And now we're going we to... Got this. You could Are there actually, any spices going in? We're going to use salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, and okay. And let's see. you got a whole thing of things here, right? Yes, we've got all kinds of... So I'm just going to look through them quickly and see what, what oh. strikes my mood today. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, this sounds like fun. 
How about any, uh, you got any paprika? Paprika? I'm sorry. Let me... Smoke uh, paprika. paprika. There we go. Can I put a little this in? You can put it in it. Thank you. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right. The gloves are off now. A little paprika. Oh, that'll be nice. Okay. How about, let's put in some herbs de Provence, huh? Why not? Put it, we'll I'm open. French. Okay. You have French to be open turkey meatloaf. Herbs de Provence. Okay. Do you know how you can tell if uh, herbs are still good, Marsha? How? I don't know. I was hoping you would. <laughs> What you do is, if you when you rub them together in your hands, they mm. should still give off a fragrance. If they don't, then they're kind of over the hill. All right, now I've already so, taken my gloves off. So I'm going to give you more beer. gloves. Okay. okay. Let me put in the vegetables. Okay. Oh, that does look good. Uh, now you want me to start? Uh, we should start. Oh right yes, there. but uh, that's, that's hot. Remember. Right. So this is hot, so I'm going to go from the outside in. Yes, sir. So I've got the bouillon So you got a couple of bouillon cubes in with the water. Yes. Okay. Oh, I see. You, you yes. soften them in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it always gave... Uh, An extra little more flavor, too. Yeah, and better um, holding the meat together. I see. Okay. So do you, ever, you, do you uh, see the guys when they're, they're eating? I mean, do you... Yeah, I do. Okay. Do you ever I, get any um, feedback on any of your recipes? The tradition here has been to have a woman serve the woman and a man serve the man. I see. Uh -huh. uh, but one of my strong feelings about this job is that I want to know the people and I want to know what they want to eat. Right. And mm -hmm. hopefully our donations will accommodate that. Okay. So I always go in and talk to the men about what they like, what they don't like. Uh -huh. Sometimes I can cajole them into eating something that they really don't want to eat. <laughs> like what would be and something that they it. really don't want to eat? Well, I made a sausage gumbo with black in black bean soup. Oh, sounds good to me. It was good. Yeah. And a number of them didn't want it, so I asked the group, okay, um, how many of you are eating the soup and what do you think? And they thumbs up and, oh, we like it. Uh -huh. and I said, all right, now you other folks, you have to try it. One uh -huh. teaspoonful, that's fine, but just try Let's it. Try it yeah. And I had at least five of the guys like it. So what's on the idea of putting the bread on the pan? Yeah. What happens is turkey in particular has a fat, high fat content. Oh, okay. Um, more so than beef. Really? I've been sadly mistaken. I thought it would have been that's the other That's what a around. lot of people think. Sure. It's not true. Well, you mean everybody's eating ground turkey for health reasons and maybe it's not quite... Uh, yeah, so you really, now you know, you have to look for... Low-fat um, low fat fat turkey. Turkey, okay. Yeah. So you do this, and then you make your your meatloaf on top of it. Okay. And this will absorb a lot of the fat. Okay. And it won't run over the sides of the pan. Okay, so we split up the meat here. Now you want to take one? Yes. Or kind of one oh, flop take, of it? Yeah, one flop of it. I'll just stick it right here on the meat, on the bread. There's, well, yeah, I'll let you get that there. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be one or two big meatloaf space. In yes, there, that's right. Meat. There you go. Oh, this is fun. All right. <laughs> Roll it right out of the pan there. Let me get the little... Don't want to waste. Okay. Okay. That's a little How's more... How's that look? Evenly Pretty good, huh? distributed. I think so. Yeah, that'll work. Terrific. Think that'll work? All right, now they go in the oven. Yes, sir. It's about how long you're going to say? Maybe two hours. Two hours. Two hours. What temperature? Three fifty. Three fifty. Three fifty. Great. Okay. We got a nice little. Let's let's put those in, and when we come back to our daily bread, we're going to see what donations came in today, right? Great. All yes. All right. That'll, that'll be, be fun, fun too. Let's go. Hey, thanks for the apple delivery. Okay, here we go. Now, Marcia, we're gonna pick out the food for the side dishes for our yes, that's right. Loaf. Whoa, are these are these sweet potatoes or are they yams? I heard yesterday that there's really not much difference. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, they're huge. Whatever they, they are, they are huge. Are we gonna use these today? Um, uh, yes. What are we gonna do with them? We're gonna make sweet potatoes out of them with well, onions and garlic. Oh, okay. So, you, okay. Well, all right. You want to put those, or do you want me to put these in my pan, or where do you want them? I don't know. It doesn't matter.
So this is the stuff. So every day you've got to kind of, you just do it from, from what comes from in. From what? Yes. So okay. you have to be a little creative. So I, I, you know, now you mentioned before to me we got some desserts back there. Yes. Which are more perishable, so we're going to use those today. Yes. And then we're going to make some, maybe some baked apples too. Yeah, I think what? that's a great idea. Okay. Unless you want to make applesauce. That would take a while. Wouldn't yeah, it? that's going to take a little too okay. long. It looks like we've got fixings for a salad. We got, maybe. Yeah, we've got a little bit of lala. carrot. Uh, lettuce. Oh, a can of olives. Red cabbage, olives. Oh. Some flour. Okay, what else? Here's another cheese. Celery. Oh, we got a lot more, more of this bread. Uh, bread. Okay. Okay, but the um, the soup we can throw in the freezer, is that it for another time? Or maybe like a sauce or something? Yes, that's right. That's, that's what we do. Okay. All right, well, all right, here we go. Okay, now we're doing our sweet potatoes. And Marsha, you're going to make these. What are you going to do with these after we peel these big? These okay. are big sweet potatoes. They are. And we're going to cut them in half and then in quarters the long way. Okay. So they look like pickles. That's going to be tough to do. Huh? Oh, like, like pickle spears almost. Yes, with onions and fresh garlic. Onions, fresh garlic. What else? Do you, you put any uh, fat on there? Any kind of uh, vegetable oil or anything like that or not? Well, I will um, drizzle some on there and mix it all up mix together up. in oh, a bowl perfect. and then okay. throw it on one of the baking pans. Okay, so you mix it all together in a bowl, throw it on the baking pan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how long is that going to be in the oven? Do you think? Uh, probably a half an hour. At least, I would at think. At least half size. an hour to of 45 course, minutes. You're cut these down. So. Yes. And what temperature approximately? What do you um, do? Put them out 350 again, 400? No, 4, 450. 450, 450 400. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Now I'm going to use the uh, carrot. I'm going to peel those. I'm going to use broccoli and the cauliflower, and I'm going to try to make a mixed vegetable. I think if I put all these together, I should have enough for uh, everybody to go around the table. And then we got a lot of stuff for the uh, salad. We're good with that. I don't think we're going to have time to make the baked apples, unfortunately, but we got some sweet bread that somebody gave us, plus yes. the other desserts, and that'll be nice desserts for the folks tonight. I'm almost done with these. We got one more to do. Okay. Uh, you know what? I got to leave you for a few minutes. I know we've we got right a lot ahead. of work to do before the folks eat, but I also want to talk to Sister, and we're going to, you know, find out okay. a little bit more about the place. Great. Thanks. See That's you soon. Fine. Okay. Hi, Sister Jane. It's great oh, to see Father, you. Father, it's good to see you. Thank you. You too. Hey, um, you know, this is a great visit we're having today at the Little Portion Friary. We know that there's ministry to do all over the world. When did the Little Portion Friary open up? I think it was the fall of 82. It was um, a little bit before I started working here. Before it was a shelter, the um, and Bishop O'Hearn High School was on the property next door. The Franciscan sisters taught, and they used this property as a convent. When the um, high school closed, then there was a period of years the property was abandoned. But then a group of Franciscans, the uh, friars, the sisters, and Third Order Franciscans were involved in opening this as a shelter. They had the spirit of St. Francis, and his first um, monastery, you could say, he called the Portiuncula. A loose translation would be Little Portion Friary. I see. How many men and how many women can you have as your guests here? We can house eight women and 19 men. And uh, the irony of it is that the piece of the property that was built primarily as a convent is where the men are. And these bedrooms were built primarily for sisters, but there's room for a bed, a desk, a chair, and it was a very comfortable place for the sisters to prepare their lessons. However, we were, when they worked on building the shelter, or converting it to a shelter, they took the desks out and put a bed in. So we have two men sharing a room. This original house, which was built in the late 1800s, was a family residence and beautiful woodwork here. And we can house eight women on the second floor. We have five rooms on the uh, right side and on the left, is a big TV room, which was really part of what's at, when it was a convent, the chapel. We have converted the porch into a clothing room where if people come and have very few um, things, they can, we supply donated clothing. One of the goals of the shelter is to help people turn their lives around and become successful. In fact, we have um, some of the volunteers 
were former social workers and they meet with uh, the guests who stay here and it's our expectation that the people who stay here must meet with the volunteers who try to guide them. How long would a guest stay here at the house? We tell them it's day to day based on how they get along with the people in the house and how they progress along the goals that they set for themselves when they come. So that we do have some people that may stay only a couple days and some may stay a couple months. And it's how they're working on finding their goals. And we've had some people stay as much as three months. However, that is not the average. The average is about a month. What's the minimum age to come and be a volunteer here? We usually ask that people be of the age of the people we take, which is anybody over 18. Sister, I learned an awful lot about the little portion friary, but I got to get back to Marsha or okay. I'm going to be in trouble. Okay. I'll stay a little while. God bless. Okay. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you. Well, it looks like you're doing great here. How'd the potato, sweet potatoes go, okay? Yes, they're in the oven and everything. It was, it was done pretty quickly. I had a nice visit with uh, sister, and I, I got my vegetables here. I took the cauliflower, the broccoli, the carrots. I put some red peppers in. I'm going to kind of saute this, and I'm going to add a little bit of, I got a little tiny bit of cinnamon, some uh, nutmeg, and they kind of went, hopefully that'll complement the, uh, the, uh, the turkey loaf that we've got cooking, I think huh? It will. Yeah, so that's about it. What else? Well, I'm about to start. You think this is going to be enough? I think that's this plenty. Will be enough, okay. Yes, that will be plenty. I'm just going to saute this around and cook mm -hmm. it down. Whoop. What I like to do too, I like to put a little water in to kind of steam cook yes. it at the same time. So let me grab a little of that here. I like this. I like being in your kitchen because uh, it's all by the seat of your pants, you know. Which yes, is it how is. I usually like to cook. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good. What else? What are you going to do with the celery? Just for the it's salad? It's going in the salad. Beautiful. Okay. We're doing good. Well, we're almost ready to, well, we will be ready to serve in a little while. I think we'll be done on time, huh? I think we will, yes. I think yes. we will, too. That's, uh, that's a relief. That's a big challenge some days. Okay. How best? It's a little bit of nutmeg. Mmm. It smells good. Nutmeg. A little more butter on the top here. And these are going to steam, and then they'll cook down, and they'll kind of brown nicely, too, once they're done. Now, you said the women and men obviously eat separately, but do you, are, do you serve both sides of the uh, Usually dining room? Usually my or? helper will serve the women's side, uh -huh. and I will uh, serve the men's side. I see. Why is that? Why do they keep them separate? That's just been the tradition um, here, or it makes it easier? Or it what? may be tradition. It, I really think it, down, it bears down to women have had a tough time, and some of them have had abuse, abusive situations. Oh, I see. And they are not comfortable around men. Uh-huh, okay. So we try to accommodate that as best we can. In addition to the food, what do we serve to drink, and, and how does it get out there, and you know, who does that? Are we setting up the tables? The or? helper will, uh, the men and the women set up their tables. They have certain duties. It's on okay. their sheet every day. Mm -hmm. And so those people will do what they need to do. And the helper for the cook always takes care of the, the juice drinks. Oh, that's me. The bread. Me? I'm the helper. For, you're the cook and I'm the helper. Yes. Oh, so what do I got to do? Uh, the bread has to go out and the butter and salt bread, and pepper. Butter, salt and pepper, okay. Sugar for their tea. All right, I'm going to get going. Father Paul, and uh, I'm on our daily bread. That's a TV show that we do. And I was 
Well, Marsha was teaching me to cook some of the things you're going to eat tonight, so I hope you like them. <laughs> but it's okay we say a prayer? Yes. Yes, okay. Loving Father, we thank you for bringing us together. As you tell us in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16, you so love the world that you sent your only Son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. We place ourselves into your hands. We ask you to guide us on the road to new life with you. And we ask you to bless this food which we receive through Christ our Lord. Say amen. 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 Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. All right. Salad goes out first. Is this? Yeah. Salad. Okay. There we go, my friend. Um, if you would all come up this way, around. That would be great. There we go. Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Well, we're just going to do this in two pieces. I'm going to break it all up in little pieces. That's anyway. right. You need more dressing. There you go. You're welcome. Did you ever hear this place before in the last couple of months or what? Have you, mm -hmm. Did you always know about yeah, a little portion? Yeah. You kind of did, but you always knew that it was, it was off here. in the cut. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you didn't know much about it. Right. Yeah. And it's here. It's here. Yeah. It's yeah. here. Yeah. You know? It's a blessing. For anybody that it needs it, the help, it's it, here. It is, it is a blessing. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for coming. Mm. Thank you for the meal, too. That's very good. That is good, isn't it? Yeah. Part of the mission statement of the Little Portion Friary says, We are God's people at work in the world, motivated by loving and caring for those brothers and sisters, God's children, who are in need of our help. What a beautiful expression of faith it is to put faith into action at a place like the Little Portion Friary. But you know, you don't have to come here because we have brothers and sisters who are in need all over the world. So extend yourself, bring the light of Christ, and that light of Christ will be reflected back to you. Until next time, remember, let's share our daily bread. What to do and how they're going to do it. This is not working for me. This one. Yeah, well, okay. Let's try this one. Chopped up? Chopped up. Okay. And then we'll start with the meat. Okay. All right. Well, let's get all these chopped up, and then we'll start with the meat. Okay. Let's get all these chopped up, then we'll start with the meat. Let's get all these chopped up, and then we'll start with the meat. So you don't cry from onions, huh? Well, I am getting a little, not much, though. <laughs> I just cry from life. <laughs> Don't we all? I'd love to try a little piece. Yeah. Why don't we both try it? Yeah, sure, break it or whatever you want to do. Here. Take your part, I'll take oh, my part. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, clear, clear. Mm. Pretty tasty, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really good. I didn't think I'd like turkey meatloaf so much. Mm, not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're right, it would be good. I'd like a, you know, I would have a little sauce to, uh, what do you call it? Gravy? Hot sauce. Oh, hot sauce? Hey there. How's yeah. yours? No. Okay. Uh, it's pretty good. It's smaller than yours, and my concern is that they're going to cook unevenly. Do you know what okay, I'm saying? I do so know what maybe you mean, we should so. take some of this and add it to there. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh, my perfect meatloaf. Wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do one a little more natural, if I could. Okay. Oh, my perfect meatloaf. Well, nothing's perfect. <laughs>